Hi, it's Alaska Granny. I've had some time in the lower 48. I recently bought a travel trailer and I actually got to go to a new Dollar Tree in the Pacific Northwest. When I went in and I asked them, are your things still one dollar? And they said yes. Their prices were going to change on February 1st. So again, I had a wonderful opportunity to stock up before all of the prices go up 25 cents. So I grabbed a cart, I filled it well, and I thought I would share with you the items that I could still pick up at the Dollar Tree for one dollar. There were only about three shoppers in this Dollar Tree, so it was nice to shop when it isn't crowded, everything is quiet, you could really look things over and think about what can I do with this? Does this serve a purpose for my prepping supplies? I'm going to share with you first what I got for my dog Teddy simply because he's being distracting trying to get into what his nose knows is for him. They have the doggy poop bags which are awesome if you're out walking your dog just tie one on your leash and you have it ready if you need it. These poop bags have 60 in a package. I bought two packages of the Purina Moist and Meaty. These are soft and moist and they're like hamburger meat. And I use these as a topping onto his regular dry food and add it just as a little treat. I sprinkle a little bit over the top. I also have some of these in my bug out bag and in my travel trailer to make sure that I always have some food for him no matter where I am. Dollar Tree had this dog treat container and it has a screw on lid and it's easy to open because of the way the little handle is and I'm going to fill this up with his regular food and keep it in my travel trailer to make sure that I have a nice supply of food for him in an airtight container. Now maybe you thought he was sniffing around for the food but he sensed a new toy. He loves these. He goes berserk. He loves the squeaking. He loves playing with them. He loves chewing on them. And I can toss them. Here he comes. Teddy, what have I got for you? Is this for you? Is this for you? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Hopefully he won't spend all of his time squeaking while I'm trying to show you all the other things that I bought. Next I stocked up on some kitchen supplies. Normally I like the Reynolds wrappers that are the sheets that are pre-measured. You peel them out of the container, but they didn't have those. So I picked up a few extra rolls of Reynolds wrap. This is top quality wrap and I think it's far better quality than just the other brands that they have at the Dollar Tree. They also had Glad storage bags, so I bought them in gallon and quart size. When I'm going to store foods in the freezer for long term, I don't like to use just the simple generic bags because I don't think they're nearly the good quality. So the Glad bags have 10 in the gallon size and 16 in the quart size. If you can find them in the freezer bags, those are even better because they're heavier duty and they work very well. I also bought a roll of Glad cling wrap because this stuff really does stick to your plate or your dish or your bowl if you want to wrap something up and put it away for later this stuff will actually cling. If you've never seen the cover-ups look for them they're like little shower caps and they're not only good for putting over bowls and plates they come into various sizes but they're also good if you're traveling you can wrap your shoes up in them and while I'm out in my RV travel trailer my little grandkids come with me and their shoes get super muddy so I put one of these around their shoes when they come into the trailer everybody's shoes come off we put them on the little mat by the door and then I can put these around them if they're really wet and muddy so that they don't drip all over we never know when we may not have enough running water so make sure you have paper plates and some plastic cups so that you have disposables if you don't have the water that you need to wash your dishes. You can also pick up all kinds of plastic silverware at Dollar Tree. I bought a package of paper napkins, a box of sandwich size bags, and the paper muffin cup liners. If you plan to make cupcakes or muffins and you have muffin mixes in your prepper pantry, make sure that you have a selection of these so that you can make the muffins without having to then need water to clean up the pots and pans in case you don't have that available. I like to stack these in a wide mouth canning jar, put on the lid, and then I have a nice supply and they're all clean and fresh when I want to use them. 
Dollar Tree has the quick erasers. They're like magic erasers and they work really well. And so it's always nice to have additional cleaning supplies. I picked up a bottle of bleach and a bottle of Dawn dish soap and these are both going into my trailer. Why might you want to have extra bleach on hand? For example, if you're camping and you don't have a lot of running water, you can use three dish pans. You have one with soapy water to wash your dishes, one with clear water to rinse your dishes, and then the third one you can put a cap full of bleach in it and you sanitize your dishes and then you can lay them out to dry. Also if you're in your RV and you're going to hook up your hose and you may not know what people have done to the hose outlet ahead of time, you can take some bleach water and spray down the faucet to make sure nobody has put germs or wash their sewer hose or something like that. Bleach is also handy to purify water. You can add a few drops depending on the amount of water that you have. So there's all kinds of reasons to have bleach with your prepping supplies. Next I picked up some of the wound care kits that have 20 pieces. These are fantastic. They have so many things in them. It's a great way to add a variety to your first aid supplies and the whole kit is only $1. I bought a reusable cold pack. It's surprising if a little one gets a bump. Keep this in the freezer and then if a little one gets a bump, it's amazing how a little cold compress can really help soothe their owies, their boo-boos, and uh, help them feel better. I bought some emery boards, some dental floss. It's been raining like crazy here, so I picked up another poncho to keep in my trailer. Mask mandates are continuing in a lot of places, so I picked up some disposable child size ones in case I need them if my grandchildren are with me. I picked up some magnetic clips because these are nice. There's a lot of things that you might want to use, say a clothespin, and you may want to hang it somewhere. So I could even stick these on the sides of my trailer. You could stick them on the sides of your refrigerator. You could stick them on a file cabinet. There's a lot of different ways that you could use a magnetic clip to hang things up so that they're out of your way and organized or to even hang over say a window or something and give you some privacy. Dollar Tree had the solar lights again and these are fantastic because they last a long long time. They're a great way to have an emergency light and you can put them away as is in your emergency gear because if you don't activate them, you don't pull out the little tab and activate them, they're fully charged. So in an emergency, in a lights out, you can keep some of these with your flashlights, your candles, your lanterns, pull one out, pull the tab and activate it and then you're going to have several hours of light. They're nice because you can stick them into a glass, you can stick them into a jar, you can put them in a candle holder or just turn them upside down and set them on the table and they're going to give you hours of light. Somebody left a comment and I wish I could remember who it was that if you have a bunch of these you can set them along on your stairway at night and then if you need to recharge them in the day you take a milk carton and you line them all up into the grids of the milk carton and set the whole thing out in the sunshine during the day and then bring them all back in all charged up to use again. I thought that was a great idea on how to charge up a whole bunch of these at once. I bought some of the felt pads. These you peel and stick them on the bottom of things. You don't want them to slide around or scratch. And there's a lot of ways you can use them if you think about it. Besides just on the bottom of a chair leg, you can stick them on a tile and make a coaster. You could use them to keep some of the things from sliding off the shelf in your pantry if you were going to have an earthquake. I bought a pair of reusable gloves. If you're going to be doing some dirty work, you might want to have some of these on hand. The disposable ones just really don't hold up well to a lot of the chemicals or soaps or the scrubbing we might want to do. And so these would be nice in case you have some kind of a dirty, messy job that you are stuck cleaning up from, say, a flood or things get spilled or just a horrible pile of dirty dishes you have to hand wash. Having some reusable gloves could really make the job not so bad. I bought a cross body bag because I thought this would be great to take the dog out for a walk. I can put some poopy bags in here, I could put my cell phone in here, I could have a Kleenex, a chapstick, I could have some pepper spray. There's a lot of things that you might want to have with you and maybe you don't have 
pockets or you just want something you can grab and go. You could have a whole bag of emergency gear with you whether you're walking your dog or not. It's a handy way to just have a grab and go like an EDC, an everyday carry that you could just grab and go when you're heading out even for just a walk. I bought some more AA and AAA batteries. Those are the ones I use the most and it's still a great deal to get these for just one dollar a package. It's great when you can find them for eight but now I can only find packages of six but it's still going to be great to have for the emergency lights, flashlights, all the different kinds of things that I have that use batteries are nearly all either AAA or AA. I bought some mechanical pencils some scotch tape and if you're at the Dollar Tree and you see the Jot brand tape and the scotch tape choose this one a hundred percent over the other one the other one is just not very good quality I even did a video about the difference between the scotch tape and the other brand because this one is so much better I bought a roll of the clear packing tape because it's nice to have big wide tape for a lot of different projects Dollar Tree had a set of glow sticks, different configurations, there's 17 in here. These are nice if you're camping, you can use these on your tent stakes so that you don't trip over them in the dark. You can give these to kids if the lights go out and they're not going to set anything on fire. There's a lot of different ways to use glow sticks. I made a video about several ways to use them and I'll put a link to that if you're interested. I bought a couple toys to help keep my grandkids entertained. I got another little doll and they had a bubble pop. It's like bubble wrap only it's just a popping thing. And the kids just love these things. It's very tactile and you can just push all the things and they don't necessarily make that popping noise but it's that sensation if you push them all one direction and then you snap them back so you have reusable bubble wrap toy and I found a little pickup truck pulling a trailer so of course that needed to go in my trailer for my grandkids to play with I found a handy little mirror it has a stand so you can set it on a table if you want to or you could use that because it has a hole in it you could hang it somewhere if you want to have a mirror somewhere and it also is nice in an emergency if you want to have a mirror for signaling you can pick one up at the Dollar Tree then I bought a whole bunch of food and it was nice to see the different varieties that they had at the Dollar Tree there are some products that I bought before that I wanted to get more of and there were also a few new ones that I wanted to try one of the things that has not been available in the regular grocery store are crackers I don't know why there's a shortage of crackers so I picked up some vanilla wafers a box of cheddar cheese whales these are kind of like the goldfish crackers and little saltine crackers I don't know why saltine crackers have been out of stock everybody keeps telling me they can't find saltines Dollar Tree had more of the dehydrated carrots and these are really nice I did a review on these if you're interested I'll put a link to that video and you can see more about the uh, freeze-dried carrots from Dollar Tree it's nice to have some snacks so I got some flips chocolatey pretzels and these are really good the date on these is September 2022 so these have a nice long shelf life on them but the way my family has been going through the packages they may not last that long to find out if they could go stale or not I bought another package of quinoa and quinoa is nice pick it up if you can because it's very nutritious so an easy way to make a nice nutritious meal with the quinoa simple is take a cup of quinoa a cup of brown rice a little bit of garlic maybe some onion and uh, two cups of water and a dash of olive oil and just simmer it bring it to a boil just like you would regular rice simmer it for about 40 45 minutes then check to see that the brown rice is done and you're gonna have a nice combination of brown rice and quinoa that's really pretty delicious I bought a box of fruit snacks these are nice the kind of thing that you can just put into your get home bag your 72 hour kit your bug out bag and then you have different kinds of treats easy to open and eat foods that are just simple to have on hand I bought some barbecue sauce and I have been searching for the little bottles of 
salad dressing, they finally got some in that have a 2022 date on them. So it's still not as long lasting as I think it should be. I like to make pantry meals that I take a Ziploc bag and I put all the food in it that I can make a meal and I set those in my pantry. Then I can grab one out, everything is together, I can put it together and make a simple meal. And so that's why I wanted the smaller bottles to put into some of the pantry meals because if you put a big bottle in there, you're not going to use it all for your recipe. And if you don't have a way to refrigerate it, then it could spoil. And so that's one of the things I want to make sure I have the serving sizes that go into my bags. But it isn't necessary to have a smaller one. It's just convenient for me. I bought a couple of bags of the Outrageous Quick Oats. What's nice about oatmeal is it lasts nearly forever as long as you keep it in a cool, dark, airtight container. And Oatmeal doesn't even have to be cooked. You can make overnight oats. You can add water or milk or almond milk, whatever liquid you like. Put it in a jar, cover it over, let it sit overnight, and it's going to be softened up and absorb the moisture so that you can eat it. If you don't have a way to cook it, all is not lost. You can still make oatmeal. My favorite ingredient to put with oatmeal is craisins, and they had some of those. So this is going with the oatmeal into a meal plan of what I could make for breakfast. Nature's Garden Mountain Trail Mix. I've not tried the trail mix, but I've tried the tropical fruit, and they are wonderful. These bags contain four individually wrapped packages, so it's simple to portion it out if you're going out with your family or you want to know that you have enough food in your bug out bag for several different days or just because you're planning the servings to make sure how much food do you have in your prepper pantry. These are a nice sturdy, super sturdy bag and on the inside the little bags are very sturdy also. The date on these is 12-22 so they're going to last for an entire year. I have found that the tropical fruits pretty much stay great until that date and even a little longer, but the quality begins to diminish. So don't buy these and think you can put them away for 10 years. You can buy them and then use them in that amount of time. And say you want to have these once a month, then you might want 12 packs. And then as you use one, buy another one if you can find it so that you are rotating and replacing it. Dollar Tree carries the So Natural freeze-dried fruits. I bought the apple slices and the mixed fruit and these are both very high quality. They're very good and they uh, have quite a bit in the package. Then you have a nice serving of fruit for only one dollar in a very lightweight package. You could put these in your bug out bag, your 72 hour kit, your get home bag and they're going to stay fresh for a couple of years. I like to eat them just dry the way they are but if you wanted them rehydrated, add them in your oatmeal when it's cooking. Uh, put them into your smoothies. Add them into yogurt. There's a lot of ways to serve dried fruit. I like it just the way they are, but you can use these for all kinds of different ways. It's hard to pass up 20 ounces of spaghetti noodles for one dollar when the regular grocery stores seem to be picked clean. And so keep adding to your stockpile. Even if you think you have lots of these items, this is going to last nearly forever. I break these in half, store them in a clean jar, put on the lid, that's it. It's airtight, I put it away in the pantry, and I've never had a problem with pasta ever going stale. It can last for 25, 35, 40 years. A surprising treat that I liked were these little rice cakes from the Dollar Tree. They're crunchy rice rolls, and they look like corn on the cob. I bought them a few months ago. I bought the regular one and the cinnamon one, and I found the cinnamon I thought would be very good. No one even liked it. And then I thought, oh no, no one's going to like these, but they're really good. So I bought a few packages of these. They're crunchy, they're tasty, there's seven rolls in the package, and they're 40 calories per roll. So if you were concerned with having low calories, you could crunch away on these and have a nice filling snack. I bought some Little Bites chocolate chip cookies. Sometimes with little ones they're very fussy and we want them to eat and so these are something that my little grandson will eat and he's extremely fussy. It's hard to get him to eat anything but he does like these and so I was happy that I could pick up this box and have it for him when he comes to visit his Alaska granny in her travel trailer. 
So that was the haul I got at the Dollar Tree, $1 each. Plus, I was in Oregon, so there's no sales tax. So that was like getting another 10% off in some of the states. We don't have sales tax in Alaska, but we also don't have Dollar Tree. So this was a real bargain for me to get to find all of these treasures still at $1. Let me know what are the treasures that you can still find at the Dollar Tree and if you're seeing that your stores are well stocked again, even if the prices are going up. They're going up everywhere. It's not just the Dollar Tree. Things are just not as available as they used to be and it appears that those problems are going to continue for quite a while. So stock up on things you know you'll eat and use and then get a little more every time you go to the store so that you'll have what you need no matter what our uncertain future brings us. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.